What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Zaire. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can start a modeling career just like I am, hopefully all in under just 10 minutes. All right, now for the first part of this video, I'm gonna be showing you several videos, or excuse me, photos, um, final photos that I got from the photo shoot we did in the downtown Orlando area here in my hometown of Orlando, Florida. Um, a photo shoot that I did with my photographer, he goes by Zach Attack Productions. You can find him on Instagram. Twitter, Facebook, anywhere. Um, he's dope, man. He has fire content, for sure. All right, now with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. For the first photo we're gonna start with is the Dapper Dan. And what I like to do with my photos is I like to take like famous magazine brands um, and kind of put the titles of them on the photos. Um, not every single time, but like I'll have a regular version of that photo and then I'll go ahead and take like a branded version of that photo and I'll, if whatever brand I'm wearing actively on me, like my clothing, I might brand it as that or I'll make take a magazine brand or just whatever brand there is out there that I like and I feel kind of fits the vibe with that photo that I'm editing. But in this scenario, you see the Dapper Dan, um, which is a famous magazine brand. Um, I'm not familiar with magazines at all, but I know a lot of people are and it has to go with modeling and stuff like that. So I use that to my advantage. So yeah, so simply in this photo, as you can see, and I'm gonna I have it pulled up here on my laptop. So I'm gonna be looking over here so I can actively see it as I'm talking about it. Um, I have my back turned. Uh, I got the beanie on and you can see kind of a good structure on my back. Uh, you see the veins coming out and then you see me looking into the mirror and my, my face is kind of um, like shadowed out. Like you can't really see my face, which I thought was really cool. You can see it in the original photo a little bit, but the way I edited it, it really dims it out. You can't see it, which I think adds a very cool effect um, to the photo. And that also leads me to my first tip. So tip number one, try to see the final photos in your head before the actual photo shoot. And what I mean by that is like already understand, you know, what outfit you want to wear, what location you want to be at, which is something that I'm not too good at as far as knowing what location, but you always want to have a location in mind, you know, so you know what outfit to wear to, to complement that. And then um, have the final edits and just kind of overall look of the photo that you, that you want to end up with prior to the photo shoot. And what that's gonna help you do is, while you're actively conducting the photo shoot, you're gonna be able to make certain poses and go for certain shots that are gonna easily be able to um, like edit later on, you see what I'm saying? So by me turning around, like I knew I wanted some sort of cool mirror shot um, prior to the photo. So while we were at the location, I looked for a specific scenery that had some sort of glass or mirror or anything like that and I found that um, so we went over to that spot right and then I see the mirror I did a couple poses looking directly into the camera and then I kind of get up and I look behind me and I'm looking into the mirror and that's when the photographer the photographer takes that shot and I end up with this and then, so now in editing I'm able to go in make certain edits you know kind of bring the shadows up, bring the white balance down a little bit, and it creates this really cool effect to where I'm looking in the mirror, you see me looking in the, in the glass, excuse me, um, and my face is not there, but, you know, so there's, there's really no face, even though you should be able to see my face, and then the back of my hair and the beanie and everything is really saturated and stuff like that, the veins are coming out, back looks nice and strong, um, yeah, and then you got the watch and everything, you know, it, it, it looks really cool in the end. Always try to see the final picture, the final product in your head prior to the photo shoot. Have that planned out already. All right, for the second photo, um, this is the GQ photo, also another famous magazine brand. Um, this right here is probably my favorite photo of all the ones I'm gonna show you. Um, simply because I just really, like I, it looks really really professional like the quality in this photo is really up there as far as the colors um the way i was able to focus on myself in the subject and kind of blur the background a little bit i threw a little bit of grain in there um then you have the watch 
accessories. I love having accessories. Um, accessories are very, very important. Uh, that's just kind of rule number one. Have something in your environment to interact with. Um, during a photo shoot, it just creates depth and, and character and stuff like that. Um, and personality. I have earrings, I got the necklace going on. And then that also is gonna lead me to tip number two, which is take snapshot photos and paparazzi type photos. Like um, I call them paparazzi photos simply because what I mean what I mean by that paparazzi photos, snapshot photos, is a lot of times during photo shoots or any sort of modeling gig, right? Your, your striking poses and the photographer takes a specific picture for that pose and then you strike another pose, take a picture, strike another pose, take maybe several pictures of that pose. So you see what I'm saying? It's that sort of pattern. But what I like to do, like what I like to do, what, what seems to work better for me is when I kind of naturally just interact with myself, my environment, um, and just kind of be in the moment and have the photographer just be taking photos. Um, this is something that you, you probably do already, like if you're taking Instagram photos, you know, um, just go ahead and like laughing and giggling, you're interacting with your friends or your environment, whatever, and you, the person holding the cell phone is just taking a bunch of photos, right? That's the same system that I like to apply in this scenario. One, because it creates a more realistic vibe, a more natural vibe, it doesn't look as staged. Um, and to me, generally, the photos just overall come out better looking rather than you trying to hold a pose or hold a certain look, things like that. Those are good. Those are skills you're gonna need, especially as you go up in the ranks and experience new things and become more professional at it. That skill is gonna be required, but for me, as of where I'm at right now, I just like to, to be natural, uh, do the, the paparazzi shots, um, just out and about doing my thing, worrying about myself, and someone just happens to be taking photos of me at the same time. All right, now for this next photo, um, Will Shire. So Will Shire is actually not, to my knowledge anyways, a magazine brand or any sort of brand at all. It's actually a street um, that I used to live next to that I also shot the beginning of my first ever short film that I ever wrote out and actually started to produce and stuff like that. It's not finished just yet. It's actually up on my YouTube channel. I'll drop a link somewhere in the video. Yeah, and I just like the name of it. It's just, it was the street that I was shooting the, the video on and I just thought it was really cool. Um, so yeah, that's why I named this photo that. And this photo, again, is probably gonna be my second favorite. Um, you can see, you know, I've been in the gym as well, so you can see, you know, the muscle in the shirt, uh, the wrinkles on the bicep, things like that. And again, the watch is very important. The watch adds depth, adds personality, right? My style, you know. Um, gives a little bit more credit to the photo and who I am as a person. The beanie, I love that beanie, how it contrasts with the shirt that I'm wearing. Um, let's see, what else we got? Yeah, the necklace. Um, and again, I was able to blur the background a bit, bring myself, bring more attention to me as a subject and what I'm wearing. Um, got my hands like this, and again, I'm just, I'm actively just fluid, just doing stuff. Um, not really striking a pose. Every now and then the photographer might, you know, oh, let me get that, get, do, do your hands like that again, let me get that, I'll hold that for a second. And then I'll do that, you know what I'm saying, or one of these, like that's really popular, like do that, maybe look at the camera, things like that. But overall, I'm just kind of moving, you know, I'm just kind of moving, just doing whatever, just grabbing my hat, grabbing my hair, you know, fixing my necklace, looking down at my shoes, whatever, like just touching the watch, like I'm, I'm just flowing, you know. Um, and it just, it, the way the photos come out at the end, it just, it, it changes everything. All right, now for this next one, um, I title it Vogue, uh, simply because in, in Vogue obviously is a, is a very prominent uh, modeling magazine brand, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I call this one Vogue uh, because the, the, the overall scenery is just very crisp. Everything in the photo is kind of, focused and everything is very sharp um, and the way I'm looking back at the camera it has like 
I don't wanna, I don't wanna say sassy like that sounds. I don't like the way that sounds, but it's just like the way I'm looking back at the camera, like it has like like attitude and things like that, and like like a statement, like I'm making a statement. And when you look at a lot of models and stuff like that that correspond with this brand, they're very serious kind of looks. Nothing too playful really that I saw when I was doing research. Um, everything is more more serious. That's kind of the the look that I had on my face and just the overall photo with everything being sharp. So I thought Vogue would be, you know, a good brand for this photo. And then I also have like a, like a Vans handbag. I used to work at Vans and they gave, I got employee of the month one time and they gave me a bunch of free stuff. And this handbag was something that I really liked, so I kept it. Um, I don't even know what's in the handbag. It's just, just a bunch of random stuff. This one was like kind of on accident. Like I was in the moment, so like that's why my face is like that but I was walking away from the camera and the photographer calls me and I turn around, like I stop what I'm doing and I turn around and he's like still snapping the photo. So this was literally like kind of on accident. But again, since like I like to record, I like to take the photos in a manner that's more fluid rather than single shots, you know, I was able to get this. So that's another, that's another pro to, to doing the paparazzi shots. See this photo. I, we had done an entire sh shoot already at a scene for the Vogue picture that I, that I just showed previous on that street. And then I went back and I'm looking at the video and I'm like, hmm, I like the way this hat, this beanie looks right now with, with the way like it, like the beanie's brown and the jacket that I'm wearing is white. And then I'm dark skinned. So like it, it just looked very good. So I wanted him to come in closer to kind of get the contrast of colors you know, more in depth. And then that's where we got this. He told me to lean up on the pole. And so I'm like, okay, so I got the bag on me. I'm doing different things with the bag. And then I kind of lean in, you know, I'm laughing a little bit and then I get a little serious and he's snapping photos. So he's getting all these different transitions these um, on my face, like these different expressional transitions that I'm, that I'm giving to him. And then this one here, um, I actually, this one was very, very cool. This is one of, one of my favorites. Of, of all my photo shoots ever. I'm just kind of walking, a train had just passed by and I, we did some shots with the train and I'm kind of walking back to the camera and I'm just doing different stuff and I throw up the peace sign like that and he catches me in the moment and I got the bag on me and it looks really cool and then I'm looking at it and I'm like, man, like, what can I do with this? Like, I like this. And so I think like, I'm literally, like I gave it that title, paparazzi shots. Like I've never heard somebody call it that. Paparazzi is, is an actual thing, but paparazzi shots, like I've never heard of that term. And so I'm like, you know, that's what I call it. You know, I try to explain that to other people. Like, I think it'd just be cool to put paparazzi there and then explain what a paparazzi is. Uh, we look pretty cool because I look like a famous person, like a celebrity or something like that out in the town. And then like someone comes up on me with a camera and I'm just posing for the camera. And then I go about my business. So. That was really cool. Like, I really, really liked that one. Um, again, I seeing like this stuff in my head as the photo shoot's going on and prior to the photo shoot. So now once I'm actually doing it and I'm recording myself and looking back at the footage during the photo shoot and I'm, it's inspiring me to go to another location or to do another pose again, like you get more creative and everything just starts to flow better. And then by the end of the photo shoot, you got tons of photos to choose from that you're actually satisfied with. For the last tip, tip number four, I also like to get the raw photos. Now a photographer generally is gonna edit photos himself and then he's gonna give you those final edits, um, which is cool, which is uh, a lot of times they're gonna do very well and you just communicate the look that you're going for, what kind of style, what kind of edits that you wanna see. And you know, he'll deliver that to you, but at the same time, it's, it's your creativity, like it's your vision that you see it in your head. And sometimes it's hard for me to explain that to another person. With that being said, and you go into the software and you start editing photos on your own, you know everything that's possible. Like you know the control that you have of the image and the different adjustments that you can make. That's just gonna give you more to work with when you're planning out the photo shoot. It's not just, I think I'd be a good model. Look at me, my clothes. look at my clothes or this is what I can do. No. These are photos that I actually have, that I actually shot, edited myself, you know, like 
this is what I can do. You know, you have footage and evidence to support that. I'm, I'm not a paid model at all. I've been paid for small gigs and stuff like that, but I wouldn't really consider myself a professional just yet. But all of this stuff that I'm sharing with you is gonna help me once I start to walk um, through that door, through that whatever opportunity comes comes to me. I, it's gonna help me be prepared and present myself more seriously when, when those opportunities start to come. I can guarantee that. But yeah, that is that is everything. It might have been a little all over the place. I tried to plan this video out, um, but again, I just kind of get so excited when I'm when I'm talking about this stuff that it might be a little scrambled or whatever, but I digress. So thank you again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're new. I promise there's gonna be a lot of videos coming out in the next few weeks. So a lot of content coming, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, see you next time. Peace. Say bye. Say bye. Bye.